In this video, I'm going to go over how to write an equation from a graph of a quadratic function. So this is from the extra review of quadratic functions for Math 99. Um, you can see the graph here has uh, x-intercepts of negative 1 and 3. So that means we would have our function would have x plus 1 in parentheses times x minus 3. If we were to set it equal to 0, let's replace the f of x with 0. It we solved out when we're solving quadratics. In order to get this to be 0, we would have to have x plus 1 equals 0 or the x minus 3 equals 0, therefore x would be 3, or x would be negative 1. And what that means is the point right here, negative 1, 0, that we see, and also the um, point 3, 0. So that's where that comes from. And we can actually then just use this for our equation f of x equals x plus 1 times x minus 3. I'll get rid of this. You can expand it out if you want. Um, a lot of times we have a here based on the um, what the uh, another point would be like the y-intercept. But because we actually know the intercepts for sure here, we're okay. We don't need to do the alternate method that I'm going to show you on the one on the right. So here we could just foil this out. x squared plus 1x minus 3x would be the minus 2x and then minus 3. So this would be it in standard form um, or general not vertex. And this right here is an okay form, the first one, the factored form. That would be okay to leave it like that, but we're used to seeing it more like this one. So on the right here, it's a little trickier because we have two points. We don't have the intercepts, um, but we do know the vertex. And we do know one other point. So that's really important. You need to have two points in order to fit it together. So we have the y-intercept as well here. The vertex is 2, 5. And y-intercept is 0, negative 3. So we're going to go ahead and put it in vertex form. To start with right now, we don't know what a is. So we're going to put that in front. Um, for this factor form we didn't need to worry about the a but on here we do on this it's a little different setup so then we have x um minus h which would be the two is my h and then all that squared and then plus k which is five actually i'm going to go ahead and just set those in a different color. So we have x minus 2 squared plus 5. Okay. Now we do need to figure out what a is. So we're going to have to substitute in this um, y-intercept there so we can solve for a. Okay. So we get the negative 3 in for y, the 0 in for x, um, and now we have negative 2 squared. That would be a 4 a right in there subtract 5 from both sides and we get negative 8 equals 4 a if we divide both sides by 4 we're going to get a equals negative 2 so once we have that we can go back up here and plug in a to our function. So I'm just going to write this down. 
below here for you. Um, let's move it down. f of x equals negative 2 x minus 2 squared plus 5. That would be our final answer. Okay, so I hope that helps for number two for the graphing of quadratic. Um, given a graph of quadratic that you could write the equation.